Hello guys, this is Steve and this is Earth 2 Walls and issue number 13. It's not unlucky 13. Anyway, so, go. Without further ado, first let me tell you that for the first time I am reading Earth 2 Walls and and I hope you will enjoy also because I have enjoyed it too because there is a really decent storyline and lots of action and artwork is totally different style that's a huge boobies oh my god that's a really crazy anyway we are we wanna go with this one so I'm going with weird science comics block dot blogspot dot in it's this review is given are really good in a decent way throwing things at you just because last issue in walls and we saw that huntress is a bit beyond reaching in her new persona of feminine reaching as in hey talk to me girl and not in the physical sense even if it was in the physical sense it wouldn't be too much of an issue because man did huntress go and get real ugly dick grayson has taken a turn for the worst since barbara's death and spent last issue beating the hell out of the guys that killed his wife and then waiting for a tidal wave to come and take him to the great beyond hopefully i get what i want with barbara comes back as the specter and saves dick but I'm not going to hold my breath on that. Finally, we saw Huntress join her Fury sisters in the war with the Vators and on Apocalypse we saw that Terry Sloan had set his ship to explode and Mr. Miracle and Fury were back on the I want to save the Earth front. Let's see what this issue has in store for us as we continue this series and see if Flash, Hoggle and Jimmy Wilson can get this Earth survivors to the project beyond bunker. Let's check it out, explain it. Our issue begins right where I wanted it to after reading last week's issue and it's we have got the war with the Vators and the Furies. Maybe war is a little too much, the battle, yeah the battle is big booming only problem with that is we have got the actual embodiments of earth saying that their avatars will fail and the raid saying how it can't get in contact with its avatar what the avatar is like kind of saluting for me not just for any story but it's cool so anyway what the hell is this negative nancy bullshit this bastards minor language should be holding a pep rally to make sure there that their avatars come through in the end i guess they might be right though because now that huntress is totally different so let's head over to chicago and see dicks mm, get forced away from a tidal wave only something giant and supernatural can save him that's uh bit of a different uh, story and every time it's really really strange while the story is getting changed in every way so finally down in the close levels of desert our Batman Superman heroes are no fighting all the after of the red and this ad just seems to control because the name Yolodena is Yolanda Montes just gets thrown out all willy nilly and fans of DC might know her as the new wildcat of the old continuity but here she's just a desert controlled avatar of the red so that ha that's happening finally we head over to the apocalypse to see commander khan taking his frustrations about terry sloan and out of the that is betraying them and rigging his ship to explode out on sloan's face he pushes sloan out of the ship and then figures since he can't undo the self-destruct he might as well make it count so he pilots the ship towards dark sage citadel and man i'm pissed that we didn't see if Khan succeeded like everything else in this issue it just cuts out because or maybe for dramatic effect it's pretty cool but either way i don't understand what this issue was trying to be besides piss me off oh before the new year so hope you guys have enjoyed and if you enjoy just comment below send me comments below then i will continue this series review and i will read the book and i will make my own review from now on so hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to subscribe